Some of my patients can't just come by the clinic. I need to go to them. Let's go. I'm doing some vet work. Can't beat it. Come on, let's go. I love my job, but it can get really tiring. Even though I'm tired and I haven't been home in a while, I still need to stop by these communities. These animals depend on me. Look, they're here. Hello. Hello. Today we're at Frozen Oak Farms. Have you ever heard of a mongolitsa? Uh, I've heard of them. You want to see them? I'd love to, right, yeah. I've never in. seen one in person. Whoa. Whoa. Holy moly. Look at that wool. That's Isn't amazing. That something? Look at that. Oh, yeah. Mangalitsas are so funny. They look like a pig in a little sweater. I can't see their tusks yet, but I'm assuming they're big. But if we just file off those really sharp tusks, they won't hurt each other. Let the pig rustling begin. All right. We still have to be really careful. These big boars are so strong. Yeah. Whoop. Open your mouth, buddy, and let me get in there. <laughs> OK. Wow. And there you go. Phew. You are so good. I'm sorry to bug you. Oh, my God. He's so cute. <laughs> wow, you did really good. Yeah, Thank you. I think so. No problem. Chuckles antlers grow so quickly over the spring and summer. It's, it's actually growing right up against the eyeball and the eye socket, and he's holding his head funny, and he looks really uncomfortable. One of the many exciting things about being able to go off-site is you have to do a little improvisation. Ah, uh, it's hard to get a grip. Handles would be so nice. I don't know where the handles are for my giggly saw, but that's, you know, kind of a fact of life when you're a mobile vet. This isn't working. You have to think on your feet and be able to adapt in order to provide the same level of care the animals will receive in our clinic. Do you need a stick? Yes, two sticks would be awesome. OK, thank you. There we go. That's better. Amazing. You have beautiful eyes. I'm so glad you can see now. Oh my god, I'm going to kiss you. Mwah. But we do house calls because, you know, we're the village vets. We're a part of the village. And if one of our clients needs us to come to their home, we do it if we can. Rookie, what's going on? He's not moving like his old self. OK. He's slowing way down. Oh, my goodness. You feel that? Yes. That's some pretty gnarly arthritis. I want to give him an injection of a, um, a glucosamine supplement. Good boy. We're going to make him feel like a teenager again. I'm excited about it. You're a good boy. You did so good. Oh, man, dude. Yeah. That is cool. All right. Hello, this is Dr. Paul. When the phone rings and there's an emergency, you go. Fita Lucy is a very good racing horse, and she's pregnant. What happened with this horse? She thought she'd get into a little bit of a kicking match, and she got the bad end of it. We got to hurry. Child with a flashlight. Flashlight coming. It's very important to have it stitched as soon as it happens. When it starts swelling, the cut won't go together. OK. Looks good. I think they should heal without any scars. Yes, sir. Thank you, lady. Thank you. We'll see you again. I know. I hope not too soon. 